morning, class 7. I think you're surprised to see me. I'm going to teach you a poem by Jack Prelot Sky, and it's called Deep in a Refrigerator. Okay? Now, you look at the board there as the poem comes. I'll read the first stanza, and then I'll explain it. Deep in a refrigerator, there's a special place for food that's been around a while. We keep it just in case. It's probably too old to eat, my mother likes to say. But I don't think it's old enough for me to throw away. Okay, now, right here the poem, poet is saying that his mother keeps food right inside the refrigerator. Behind, right behind, okay? And the poet thinks the mother keeps stale food in containers, deep inside. And the line here, just in case, okay, just in case may mean the family will eat it later on or maybe it will be given to someone else. Okay? The mother thinks it's old and a little stale only. It may not be very old, so that is why she's keeping it deep inside the refrigerator. Okay, and it should not be thrown away. That's what all mothers think. And here the poet is mocking and making fun, a little fun of his mother. And he's sort of asking, why on earth is she keeping old food in the refrigerator? Okay, so that much for the first stanza. And now we go to the second stanza. It stays there for a month or more to ripen in the cold. And soon we notice fuzzy clumps of multicolored mold. The clumps are larger every day. We notice this as well, but mostly what we notice is a certain special smell. Now here the poet becomes more ironic in the next stanza because for food to ripen, we don't need, uh, we need warmth to ripen the food, okay? But here he's saying it in a very funny way. And uh, here he says the food stays in the fridge to ripen in the cold. Uh, it's just a funny way of expressing his amazement at what his mother does, how she likes to store old food. Then after a month, they see fuzzy clumps. That means moles, which are sometimes multicolored, means uh, like, you know, dark blue, green, and sometimes pink. Uh, you know, when you buy bread from the market and you leave it outside in a plastic, and after a few days, you look inside, and what do you see? You see moles of different colors, isn't it, on the bread? So the child sees the same thing, moles of different colors, okay? And then, and as the poet wonders, this mole becomes bigger and bigger. And not only does it become bigger, what happens? This start, uh, of peculiar, funny smell starts coming out from the fridge. The food starts smelling, okay? And the mother doesn't take it out. She still keeps it there. And the poet finds it very funny and wonders why she does all that. And now we go to the third and the final stanza. When finally it all becomes a nasty mass of slime, my mother takes it out and says, apparently it's time. She dumps it in the garbage can, though not without regret, then fills the space with other food. That's not so, not so ancient yet. Now, finally, when the mole turns into a very bad, un unpleasant, sticky, icky liquid, then the mother takes it out. Now, now, after all that sticky liquid comes out, she said, it's time to throw it in the garbage can. Now, garbage can means dustbin, okay? And this time, when she throws out the rotten food, she does it without any regret. Why? Because it is bad, okay? Because it is bad, and she does it uh, with no guilty feeling. Because in the beginning, what happened was, 
if she threw out that not so old food, she would be guilty. And there are so many people hungry nowadays in the world. So she should, she most probably felt guilty in throwing away little old food. But now she does it without any regret. No guilty feelings at all. And uh, what the poet, the child notices that once again, deep inside the refrigerator, the mother again fills the space which she took out that rotten food from. She fills that space again with other food containers that are not so old. Okay? And so the cycle continues. The mother takes out the rotten food after one month. And again, she puts food. Again, that food gets rotten. So the poet is finding it all funny. Why does the mother keep such food, you know, just throw it away? So this uh, short poem is a humorous poem, okay? And Jack Belutsky is an American poet who writes mainly for children. He writes very funny poems. There are other po poems too which he writes. And they're all sort of all humorous. So, and uh, when people ask, you know, why is it written deep? You know, why don't you write it right at the back or something deep in the refrigerator? So here people, some of the people say that uh, deep at the back of our minds, you know, we also store negative thoughts. And these negative thoughts make us ill, make us physically sick, make us mentally sick. Okay, so... That's what a lot of people think, the adults think. But since you're in class 7, we won't go so deep into the poem, okay? So all you have to do is just write the poem in the exercise book, in your best handwriting, and then there are questions on the next page, page 21, which I will send the question and the answers this time, okay? So you also have to write it down. And not only write it down, for this work, what your assignment will be is to learn the poem by heart, especially the spelling of the poet's name, Jack Prelutsky. At the back of the book, a little bit of something is written about him. Read about that. And then learn the question and answer. So for this week, your assignment is to write, learn the poem by heart, on the question and answers, and then send it to your respective class teacher. This much for today. I hope you enjoy the poem.